Okay, President Biden announced that the United States is nominating Ajay Banga to be president of the World Bank. As Ajay Banga takes over as the president of the World Bank, Trinamool Congress MP Derek O'Brien reflects on their long friendship and asks why people with similar professional backgrounds and skills are not appointed to government posts in India. I've known Ajay Banga, the new head of World Bank. I'm so proud at a personal level uh, for 35 years. I remember in 1990, this young Banga from Nestle Delhi was transferred to the branch in Calcutta. 1988-89, I was doing the Maggie quizzes. I thought I was doing a great job, but when I met him in 1990, he said, uh, he called me to his office. He said, you know, you're doing a great job, but when are you doing our quizzes? My team tells me, so this is the new branch manager of Nestle. <laughs> My team tells me you're only doing the quizzes on Saturday and Sunday. I don't want that. I want to take the Maggie quizzes, which we started in 1988, to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I thought he was joking. He wanted me to do quizzes six days a week. I thought about it, quit my job, and Nestle and Maggie became my first client. I remember those days vividly. Ajay Banga hasn't changed. I'm so happy that he's been made the World Bank chief. Well, there are so many stories of the new World Bank head, Ajay Banga. Let me tell you two stories. One, of course, was when he was in Citibank. And just after 9-11, uh, his Citibank boss offered him a private jet to commute and also a car with security. He refused the jet as well as the car. You see, he was a brown man with a turban, racial profiling, so it was tense, but he... He said something very famous, which later became famous. He told his boss that in Citibank, and today he is the uh, head of World Bank. Another story which I can think of from the new World Bank chief was in Calcutta. This was in the early 90s when he was uh, in Calcutta, working in Calcutta. And there was a band in Calcutta, and one of his colleagues, Roy Chatterjee, who I know well, recounts a story where that time the Contessa was the big car, so Banga, Ajay Banga couldn't take the Contessa to work. So there was a young sales rep, Roy Chatterjee. Previous evening, they worked it out. And Banga, next morning, was riding Pillion on his bike, the 20-minute uh, bike ride. And they had a wonderful chat. And those 20 minutes obviously had a great, left a great impression on that young sales executive. Ajay Banga, as the head of World Bank, is truly an inspired choice. And I think we should have more of this in India too. But unfortunately, top professionals are not taken into government. Even this present government, 56-inch uh, government, uh, they haven't really taken any top professionals laterally into government. So Banga is an inspired choice. And there have been occasions, I remember 2011, when a former professor, a former economist, and uh, head of FIKI, Dr. Amit Mitra, that's an inspired choice, way back in 2011, Mamta Banerjee's first term as Chief Minister, Dr. Amit Mitra laterally came in and then served two very successful years as a Finance Minister in Bengal. I think we need more inspired choices like this because otherwise it's only retired babus, retired bureaucrats or historians who are party ideologues who are brought into the government. So as I said, Banga is an inspired choice and in fact, Banga will be serving in Washington DC but maybe Ajay Banga should have been serving in Delhi. Every alternate Friday in the Indian Express, zero hour. Click on the description below to read the full article on Ajay Banga, the new World Bank President.